Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, fifth day and uh, the second lecture. Uh, this lecture will be uh, delivered by uh, Dr. Meena Babazada. She is uh, she has done her PA, MPhil in Geography from Jawaharlal Nehru uh, University and then uh, she has done her PhD in Geography Regional Development from Jawaharlal Nehru University. Uh, India. Uh, she is a GIS, uh, remote sensing GIS teacher. Uh, she has worked at uh, MLK PG College, Balrampur, India, as a lecturer at uh, Geospatial Mapple Technology. Uh, she is a research associate at the Policy Change Initiative. Uh, she is a joint uh, researcher. And now I want uh, Miss Meena Babazada to introduce uh, her better. Uh, um, over Hello, to uh, Meena, Miss Meena. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Sagar. Uh, so I prefer. I think you uh, completely introduced me. So I don't want to waste time more. And I would like that if you can share the PowerPoint, so we can go to the uh, lecture today. You can share uh, PPT with yourself. Can I? Okay. Thank you so much, Sabo. I think, Sabo, you make me disabled to open share. Oh, just a minute. I enabled, okay. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. Hello again. So today we want to talk about Jewish special analysis advanced technique in GIS. So our life is constantly emotional. We get wake up. We get ready and then we go for the work or maybe later we will hang out with the friend and then maybe after that we go back home so in fact our days consist of events that let us this way and that how we get where we want to go and uh, how determine which route we should take that is only simple memory that make us to recognize where we have been and so how, now where we should go. So rest of the time we use alternative methods. One of these methods is geospatial analysis. So geospatial data is information that has a geographical aspect, aspect to it and uh, it includes positions is known as a geospatial data. Geospatial analysis is used to add timing and location to traditional type of data and to build up visualization. This visualization can include map, graph, statistics, and uh, cartograms that show historical change and current shift. This additional context allow for more complete picture of the event inside that might be overlooked in a massive spreadsheet that are relieved in easy to recognize visual pattern and image. This can make prediction faster, easier, and more accurate. In fact, geospatial uh, data include two vector and raster uh, information, raster data and uh, vector data. So some example of about ge geospatial data, we can say about vector and attribute that, and then point cloud, raster, satellite imagery, census data, cell phone data, drone image, and social media data that according to our need, we will use one or two in one modeling. So what is benefit of using a special analyst data? One is engaging inside, seeing the data that contains of visual map, 
make it easier to understand how events work, how unfolding and how to react to those events. Better forecasting, seeing how special conditions are changing in the real time, can help the organization better prepare for the change and determine future action as well. Target solution, seeing location-based data help organization understand why some location and some countries, such as United States, as more, they are more successful for business than other countries. Some of the most common zero special techniques include following the things I'm going to read for you. Remote sensing. Definitely everyone knows that remote sensing makes us work for us easier. A space and airborne cameras and sensor platform provide imagery and data to great details. Images that can zoom into less than one meter are available right now on some, on some commercial satellites. Geographical Information System, GIS, offers software that can map a specific geographic location anywhere on the Earth and analyze geos uh, geospatial data. GIS Geospatial can also detect pattern in the areas, in the data, sorry. Global Position System, GPS, provide coordinate location for military and civil use through Network USA, Department of Defense Satellite a European region called GLU. Intent mapping technologies, Google Earth and Microsoft uh, by the combining both, they can make a geospatial software and geospatial mapping tool that make it easier for the people to view and share geospatial data. In fact, geospatial analysis combine GIS technology with scientific methods and purpose to transfer data into visual, actionable information. We have to definitely start by data. So depend on uh, which kind of data we use that I already mentioned, satellite data, sensor data, cell phone, GPS, what kind of analysis we choose. Suppose for the uh, heat mapping, we can use creaking, buffering, so depend on what kind of method you use. And then information, such information that you want to put, analyze inside, and then finally help us to make us our decisions. Data management. Data and GIS need assessment and recommendable hardware and software solution for projects and host governments. Coordination among project partners within all applicable policy to develop and implement data structures and standards. Applied special statistic and geospatial analysis. For what kind of study we can use this method? Definitely for this in land cover, land use detection, land use, land cover changes, analysis and modeling. Sustainability and risk analysis. Satellite image analysis and uh, so many other research like disaster management, and then visualization and information. Thematic mapping, advanced statistic and visualizations, and interactive online mapping. Some of the study I gave you example before, like temperature change, rainfall change, land use change, we can use geospatial analysis. As you can see, geospatial analysis method it can be very in different variety. According to your project and your need, you will choose one, one or two. One is buffering, networking analysis, heat map, interpolation, cringing, the density analysis, and route planning. Informing decision and policy. Determine land use allocation under complication object of maximizing resources to meet objectives. Modeling effect of land use change and by uh, diversity and climate change during the project. Implications. Optimizing land use management, investment planning, and risk assessment. Geographic selectivity analysis as part of our project planning and design. Empowering communities and scientifically drive land and resources information. So, geospatial data collection and management. It happened by two ways. 
one geospatial data collection that is big, happened because of share of volume of geospatial data deadly required by the interpreters and probability large many organizations look for to using their services to obtain uh, current geospatial data and geospatial data management with so much data now it's available in the net census whatever information we have project managing it take considerable important important many organizations are finding themselves over uh, come up with so many data turning to their in the house data scientific it helped them to manage those data some of benefit of using geospatial data is one of the benefits is like for the advanced warning for so many uh, weather forecasting, we can use geospatial data to find a proper model for our prediction. Another one, deeper understanding of the graphs, details of our analysis. Without this description, we cannot find proper answer for our questions. And then highlight efficiency, that how these uh, points are helping to solving future uh, problems. How geospatial analysis is used? One is teleco data analysis, enable to cor correction of issue before customers find no, uh, customer get notice. Geospatial analysis help companies quickly find and resolve network anomalies by visualizing where the problem is happening. Military analysis provide suitable awareness for the military logistic geospatial predictive analysis can help the military optimize placement of resources. GIS technology for disaster response or for disaster management, it helps to visualize extreme weather for different weather problems, storms, hurricanes, to enable enough advance warning for the avocation uh, um, alert and effective response after disaster. And urban planning development definitely helps panel, uh, planners to visualize big data, public sector analysis to determine how growing population affect energy, transportation, housing resources. So I think uh, with this introduction, you get some view about how geospatial analysis it works. So we have to know that geospatial analysis is not only one tool that can help us to make a different model, different analysis. With help of so many other software, other information like GIS, GPS, census data, other uh, different data, we can make a proper model by helping geospatial analysis and get better view about our issues. So thanks, Sabo. I hope, uh, students get enough information about how this uh, geospatial analysis work and Sabo, can you hear me uh, yes thank you uh, so much Mina uh, for this uh, for this wonderful uh, lecture I hope the participants can uh, get uh, the very uh, benefits of uh, this uh, lecture uh, thank you so much perfect